we going to do? Dear God. What are we going to do? Managing. Perhaps it'd be better for all of us if we couldn't manage, then they'd have to do something. Maybe if I became an alcoholic. I could. Oh my God, I think I could sometimes. So when I go next door to Suzanne's some nights, and we sit and get a bit tight together on whiskey, and talk about all sorts of things and laugh, and sometimes, just for a little while, I can forget. My thoughts stop going round and round in my head. The relief of just feeling like an ordinary person. Relief. Supposing when Miss Everett's social services had come round today, she found me lying dead drunk on the floor. Dear me, Mrs Taylor, we're not managing wonderfully well today. Imagine your own child driving you to drink. Your own child that you love. I don't even know if I do love her. I don't know what I feel. Pity. Oh, pity for her. Why did it have to happen? Poor baby. Poor, poor baby. But this fear too. She seems to like to frighten me. Enjoys it. She never does it to Edward. I really think sometimes she hates me. And he's so good to her, so patient and kind. All those holidays he takes her on. He never talks about them afterwards, but I know, I know she crucifies him. But I feel mean and cowardly because I didn't go too. I'm guilty. Did I do it? Was it my fault? When I was pregnant with her, all those weeks, she was inside me. I thought she was so safe, nothing could hurt her. And yet all the time. Was it me? Did I contaminate her? Oh God. She was so beautiful when she was a baby. Even now sometimes when she when she's asleep. When I'm out with her. Sometimes I wish she was ugly, deformed or crippled, something people could see. Then they pity her too instead of getting nervous and embarrassed and walking away from us as if we're lepers. Oh God. Will nobody help us? Can nobody help us?